Hey, I am back. I am going to watch a new movie today that I have never seen. This was a request from a viewer in a comment and it is Stand By Me. Um, I've heard good things of the, about this movie for a long time. Um, I know it's a classic. I don't know much about it other than it's a coming of age film. Someone mentioned that it's a Stephen King adaptation like um, Shawshank Redemption. And that's all I know about it. I know the song. Is that from this movie? I don't know. Uh, I don't know who's in it, if there's any famous people, um, but I'm excited to watch it. And if you guys want to see the full reaction, you can head over to my Patreon. Um, thank you all so much for watching and subscribe if you want to um, be notified when new videos come on. Anyways, I've got my heated blanket, I'm in my comfiest sweatshirt, and we're ready to go. Okay, here we go. Attorney Christopher Chambers fatally stabbed in restaurant. This is just like Shawshank Redemption started out. A man alone in his truck, looking like he's going to commit suicide. <gasps> the song! It is! 1959. 1959. A long time ago. But only if you measure in terms of years. It's Fox! I feel like these clothes are actually back in style. The high tops, the rolled up jeans, the retro shirts. I like it. Oh my gosh! This kid is like 10 and smoking. How do you smoking. know Frenchman's been in your backyard? Hey, I'm French, okay? Your garbage cans are empty and your <laughs> Gordy's out. Oh, Gordy just bit the bag and stepped out the door. That guy looks familiar. <laughs> Come on, man, deal. Not the secret knock. I forget the secret knock. Let me in. Burn. Oh, man, this is already this feeling is, like so nostalgic oh, man, with like the narrator. You won't believe it. It's unbelievable. Like the Wonder Years. Goonies vibe, maybe. Okay, great. You won't believe this. Sincerely. I ran all the way home. Some of you guys. Yeah. Kids are so mean. Can you guys camp out tonight? I mean, if you tell your folks we're gonna tent out in my backfield? Yeah, I think so. You guys wanna go see a dead body? We had all followed the Ray Brower story very closely because he was a kid our age. Three days before, he had gone out to pick blueberries, and nobody'd seen him since. I think Aww. we should tell the cops. Yeah, don't go squawking to the cops after you boosted a car, you idiot. They're gonna want to know how the hell we got way out on Back Harlow Road. Yeah, right. And then after Is dark, gonna be like a flame must have come along and I'll smack -o. Mystery. Yeah. These kids are gonna hey. solve a mystery. Hey, you guys. I bet you anything that if we find them, we'll get our pictures in the paper. Yeah, yeah, we can even be on TV. You sure. We'll be heroes. Yeah. I don't know. Billy will know I found out. He's not gonna care. Because it's going to be us guys that find him, not Billy and Charlie Hogan in the boosted car. We'll probably pin a medal on you, Vern. Yeah, you think so? Sure. These kids are cute. Well, we tell her. But if we do find that kid's body over in South Harlow, they'll know we didn't go to the drag races. We'll get hide it. Nobody will care. 
Because everybody's going to be so jazzed about what we found. It's not going to make a difference. That summer at home, I had become the invisible boy. Mom? You know what my canteen is? Mom? Why is his mother not answering him? It's in Danny's room. Oh. In April, my older brother Dennis had been killed in a Jeep accident. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's terrible. Hey, Gordy, I got something for you. This is my friend guy. is for you. Wait, is that young Yankee John Cusack? No, oh no, this is your Yankee cap. It's good luck cap. You wear that cap, you know how many fish we're gonna catch? How much? It is. Brazilian, Brazilian fish. And it looks oh. good on you too, just like that. Hey, Mom, I'm going blind! Hey, don't start with me, porcupine. Come here, come here. Give me a hug. You found it. Huh? Why can't you have friends like Denny's? That's hard to okay. Sure they are. A thief and two Phoebes. Chris isn't a thief. You want to see something? Sure, what? You're the Cisco kid. Walking, talking, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Did you get this? Do these children have a gun? It's 45. I can see that. Why do they have guns and cigarettes and... You got... Is it loaded? Hell no! What do you think I am? Jesus! Let's get out of here! Come on! I'm gonna be in trouble now. That Tupper babe saw me. Shit, Gordy. She thought it was firecrackers. I don't care. That was a mean trick, Chris. Hey, Gordy. I didn't know it was loaded. Honest. You swear? Yeah, I swear. They're good little friends. Hey, girls, where you going? Hey, come on, man. My brother gave me that. And now you're giving it to me. Give it to me! Come, come on, man! That's mine! You real asshole, you know that? Is that? Your brother's not very polite, eyeball. Now, Chris... I know you didn't mean to insult my friend. Is that Kiefer Sutherland? I know he didn't mean to insult me. Is that Jack Bauer? That's why I'm going to give him the opportunity of taking it back. Oh, my gosh. That is weird to see him like that. Come on, man. Stop it. You're hurting him. Bastard, let's go, man. Stop it, man. <gasps> Cut it out. I hate boys. Okay, okay, I take it back. I take it back. Give him his hat back. See you later, girls. Or a garbage can. <laughs> I brought a comb. What do we need a comb for? <laughs> well, if we get on TV, we want to look good, don't we? <laughs> I a lot brought of a comb. Thanks. <laughs> Two for flinch ways. Did your mother ever have any kids that lived? What do you mean? I like Vern. See, they are still uh, innocent we kids. Junkyard. My dad said it's a safe Well, not if Chopper's there. Chopper's there, we'll see you. Ha ha, very funny. Hey, I'm kind of hungry. Who's got the food? Oh, shit. Did anybody bring anything? For you guys, hey, 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 hey. Let's see how much money we got. 68 cents from Chris. 60 cents from Teddy. 7 cents for him. <laughs> I haven't found my pennies yet. <laughs> well, 237's not. Train coming. Oh, boy. Come on, Teddy. Uh, I'm gonna dodge it. This is why I'm scared to have boys. Get the hell I mean, I the have track. boys. That's why I'm scared for them, because they're... <laughs> You shake my nerves and you rattle 
my brain? Why don't you tell me something I don't know, asshole? Well, these guys are real pleasures. Let's play ball! What the heck is wrong with people? Hey, Vern. Looks like your mom's been out driving again. Oh, it's so funny I forgot to laugh. Stand back, men! <laughs> Pam Dukes, over the side! No trespassing was enforced by Milo Pressman, the junk. Hey, race you. No, I don't. Think oh, right so. to the pump, man. Come on. Um, I'm kind of tired. Go! Oh, you're a dead man, Lachan! They're taking a break. You guys been watching the Mickey Mouse Club lately? Yeah. We better go get the food. Chunk here it opens at three. Chopper will be here. Ooh, sick balls. <laughs> <laughs> you go. You can pick us up on the way back. We'll flip for it. Okay. Odd man goes. Four tails. Oh Jesus, man, that's a goocher. Oh, oh, oh come, come on, on burn. burn. This doesn't mean anything. What's no, a goocher? No, no man, a goocher. That's really bad. Gordy losers. Oh, Gordy just screwed the pooch. I have to figure out who that kid is. Corey Feldman. What else was he in? Wasn't he the... Oh, the Goonies. Yeah, that's why I recognize him. I remember the year it was all conference. The quarterback he played. Boy, could he throw. Poor baby. Father, God, and son, each east. There'll be some scouts at the game tomorrow. I don't know, Pop. Dad, can I have the potatoes? Dennis, when you're out there tomorrow... Pop, did you read the story that Gordy wrote? Gordy wrote a story. It was really good. What did you write, sweetheart? Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. Football takes concentration. You start in on the girls, and his mind's all over the place. Darby, right. I don't know how many... I really liked it. Thought it was great. Why is he the cutest big brother ever? You play football. Oh. Hey! Hey, you kid! What are you doing there? Come over here! Run, Gordy! 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 Run, Going to see a dead kid. Maybe it shouldn't be a party. Yeah. Like if he's really bad, like all cut up in blood and shit all over him, I might have nightmares. <laughs> you know, like old guts and eyeballs already a jump and grab. Shut up, come on, God God. damn it! I can't help it. Am I weird? Yeah, but so what? Everybody's weird. I love these kids and how they're so sweet to each other. I'm not going anywhere. Pussies, forget it. Well, then you're an asshole. What's asshole about wanting to be with your friends? It's asshole if your friends drag you down. You hang with us, you'll just be another wise guy with shit for brains. Oh, you think my name is so Why is he so hard on himself? I love how half the time they're like innocent, sweet kids. Fuck writing. I don't want to be a writer. Singing on the railroad tracks and talking about cartoons. And the other half, they're smoking and swearing and... It's like God gave you something, man. All those stories that you can make up. And he said, this is what we got for you, kid. Try not to lose it. The kids lose everything unless there's someone there to look out for them. And if your parents are too fucked up to do it, then maybe I should. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh boy. Oh, this gives me anxiety just watching it. Seriously, sweaty hands. <laughs> Vern! I love Vern. <laughs> that would be me, 100%.
I'm scared of heights, I'm scared of bridges, I'm scared of trains, I'm scared of falling. Oh my gosh. What was that? His comb! Oh, look at his face! He's like a little baby. Whoa, that is pretty. Hurry! Go faster! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Go! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Time train. Nothing like a smoke after a meal. Yeah, I cherish these moments. Fifties are weird. Hey, go. I don't want to hear no horror stories. <laughs> I'm not up for that, man. <laughs> Why don't you tell us one about Sergeant Steele and his battling leathernecks? Well, the one I've been thinking about is kind of different. It's about this Python contest, and the main guy of the story is this fat kid that nobody likes, named Davy Hogan. He weighs close to 180, but, you know, it's not his fault. It's his glands. Oh, yeah, my cousin's like that. Sincerely. She weighs over 300 pounds. She's supposed to be a high boy This here. kid so kills me. Well, all the kids, instead of calling him Davy, they call him Lardass. Lardass Hogan. But one day he gets an idea. The greatest revenge idea. A newcomer to the fight, but one we expect great things from in the future. Young Master David Hogan. Don't pay any attention to those fools, Lardass. <laughs> Just Davey. <laughs> boom, baba, boom, baba. Well, these people are rude. Those don't look very good. Lardass, 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 Lardass. What the audience didn't know was that Lardass wasn't really interested in winning. What he wanted was revenge. Why? <coughs> Why? Diving into his fifth pie, Lardass began to imagine that he wasn't eating pies. He pretended he was eating cow flops and rat guts and blueberry sauce. Lardass! Slowly, a sound started to build in Lardass' stomach. A strange and scary sound. I am not gonna like this. if it's throw up. He was covered with five pies worth of used blueberries. Last man, Bob Cormier, took one look at Bill Travis and barked on Principal Wiggins. Principal Wiggins' girlfriends barked on boyfriends. Kids barked on their parents. A fat lady barked in her purse. Ew. The Donnelly twins barked on each other. And the women's auxiliary barked. Oh. And the artist just sat back and enjoyed what he'd created. A complete and total Barf That's disgusting. Oh man, that was the best. Just the best. Yeah. If I can only have one food for the rest of my life, that's easy. Pez. 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 Flavor pez. No question about it. <laughs> oh my god. It's a brown kid. His ghost out walking in the woods. Why would he say that? I promise I won't hawk no more dirty books. I promise I won't say no more bad swears. I promise I'll eat all my lima beans. <laughs> Twelve year olds with guns. Twenty three hundred hours. Not into it. Corporal Teddy Duchamp stands guard. Do do do. Teddy, cut it out. Okay. <laughs> Bird. 
hard enough. I am 100% this child. <laughs> Should have been you, Gordon. That can't be real. He didn't really say that to him. Poor guy. I didn't go. It's the way that people think of my family in this town. It's the way they think of me. I'm just one of those low life chambers kids. No one even asked me if I took the milk money that time. I just got a three day vacation. Did you take it? Yeah, I took it. You knew I took it. Yeah, I took it. Teddy knew I took it. Chris is a good kid. Maybe I was sorry and I tried to give it back. You tried to give it back? Maybe. Aww. Just, I'm sure she had her eye on that skirt for a long time. I'm sure Anyways, she had she her saw eye her chance and she took it. Oh. I was the stupid one for even trying. Oh my gosh. I never thought. I never thought. Anyway, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I guess I'm just a pussy. Huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is one of the most heartbreaking things I have ever watched. Oh, when he's like. I just never thought a teacher would... Oh my gosh! Why couldn't you get some breakfast stuff like, uh, Twinkies and Pez and root beer? Sorry, Vern. I guess a more experienced shopper could have gotten more for your seven cents. River. Good burn, Gordon. The reality of Ray <laughs> Brower was growing. The idea of seeing that kid's dead body was starting to become an obsession. Hey, you guys, it's a lot safer if we, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vern. I basically, this whole movie is just me saying, oh, Vern. Hey, listen, Ace. Um, maybe me and Charlie shouldn't go. As we're acting like my grandmother having a conniption fit. Get in the fucking car. Now! Young Jack Bauer is not nice. I feel like the movie is almost over and they still haven't even found this body. I was supposed to. Ew, ew, ew. Get him off! Don't you have to like burn them off or something? Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. God, I've never met anybody who fainted before. <laughs> Maybe he made a bad move. Person is insane. Teddy, you and Vern watch the left side of the tracks. We'll take the right. All right. There he is! I see him! Look! Look over there! I see him! I see him! Somewhere under those bushes was the rest of Ray Brower. Now what are they gonna do? Ooh. That's heavy. Let's look for some long branches. We'll build them a stretcher. Why do you have to die, Chris? Why did Denny have to die? Why? I don't know. It should have been me. Don't say that. It should have been me. Don't say that, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to give him a hug.
<laughs> I just want to hold him by the shoulders and say, you're a good kid. Oh my gosh. These heartbreaking moments. What the fuck do you know about this? We found him. We got dibs. Oh, we better start running, eyeball. They got dibs. <laughs> we earned you, man. You guys came in a car. That's not fair. He's ours. Get out of here. We take the body. Besides, me and Billy found him first. Yeah, Vern told us how you found him. Oh, Billy, I wish we never boosted that car. Oh, Billy, I think I just turned my fruit of looms into a fudge factory. That's oh. it. Your, your ass is grass. Hold it. You're dead. Come on, Chris, it's split. You're gonna have to kill me, Ace. No problem. <laughs> Oh, you, I swear to God. Oh, boy. You must have at least some of your brother's good sense. Suck my fat one, you cheap dime store hood. Whoever told you had a fat one with chance? Biggest one in four counties. <laughs> yeah. That was intense. We walked through the night and made it back to Castle Rock a little past five o'clock on Sunday morning, the day before Labor Day. They must be hungry. Well, see you in school. Yeah. Yeah. See you in junior high. As time went on, we saw less and less of Teddy and Vern until eventually they became just two more faces in the halls. No. It happens sometimes. Chris did get out. He enrolled in the college courses with me, and although it was hard, he gutted it out like he always did. He went on to college and eventually became a lawyer. Last week, he entered a fast food restaurant. Just ahead of him, two men got into an argument. One of them pulled a knife. Chris, who had always made the best piece, tried to break it up. He was stabbed in the throat, he died almost instantly. Why? Oh, gosh. Why couldn't they just have ended it? Dad, can we go now? You ready? Yeah, we've been ready for an hour. Sporty came to be a writer? Wow. What did I just watch? Whew. Okay. Um, so I really liked that movie. I'm glad I did not bawl my eyes out the whole time. This movie. Um, there was, it was a mix of heartwarming, heartbreaking, it was nostalgic, it was, um, fun to watch, relatable, um, I loved Vern, I did not realize that was Jerry O'Connell until I went and looked it up, but, um, he definitely provided some comedic relief and, um, just reminded me of how I was as a kid. The ending was sad, and I'm really sad that they... <laughs> Is this based on a true story? No, it was based on Stephen King's novel. I'm just sad that they made that Chris died, but... Gordy became a writer, just like Chris knew he would be, and a sweet dad. So that was happy. I liked that it was just like a snapshot into this life-changing two days for these kids. And it was, like, some would say that movie's slow. And it's a short movie. Like, not a lot happens. But it still really sticks with you, I feel like. And 
I liked that it made me think that, you know, even young kids, even though they're just kids, they're still just watching and observant and just feeling all these really big emotions. And sometimes we don't give them credit for that. Um, I really enjoyed it. I like coming of age films. It had like Sandlot, Kings of Summer vibes, but, and the music was so good. It was weird to see Kiefer Sutherland and John Cusack and those heartbreaking moments of the boys just breaking down to each other, I think were amazing. Like you do not see that good of acting from child actors anymore. Anyways, I'm really glad I watched it and that song's gonna be stuck in my head for the next few days. If you guys have any suggestions on movies I should watch next, hopefully something with a love story, come on, um, leave them in the comments and thanks for your support. Okay, bye.